Christopher Dorner is this guy that they're doing the manhunt for in L.A., obviously, and the uh, cops are trying to get him. And Aaron Burnett has a, a U.S. Congressman, Representative Rogers from Michigan, on. And she's going to ask an incredibly scary question. Yeah. That's There's been a lot of talk about the Americans using drones against people linked to al-Qaeda, um, American citizens. You look at a case like this and Dorner, yeah. is this a case where you would think sometime soon that we would use drones against American citizens, a case like this where he's trying to kill people? Man, that was not kidding. That was a straight-faced question. Do you think we should use a drone? Look, we use them against American citizens who are mind. not in the country. Well, I mean, and, uh, hey, should we waterboard somebody to get information on where he is? Maybe we should do that too. Yeah, maybe we should waterboard that 81-year-old guy they tied up on I the boat. He maybe knows. Something. He might know something. Or his mom. They yeah. got his mom's Water house surrounded, border. right? I mean, mm -hmm. this is, is there, I, seriously, is there any terrorist in Yemen or Somalia that has the citizens of this country in more danger than this guy does? No, no. right? Well, no. Wrong. So if you think we should waterboard those guys and we should do drone strikes against mm -hmm. those guys, Aaron Burnett asked the question, should we do it to this guy? But, but the I, issue is, though, but I mean, there is a point where a drone strike, how is a drone strike dissimilar from, we know the guy's alone in that house, the police have a anti-tank weapon, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can use that on the house. We wouldn't necessarily object to that. We're or just, they can fly over with a helicopter and do a, you know, an or, or, RPG, whatever. I don't know how right. it works. But, like, you need the drones because you can't have the helicopters. You can't have the cops on the ground in Yemen and Somalia, etc. So it's not apt here. But the question itself is enormously frightening because you can begin to see, see the slippery slope. Yes. Well, and it's sliding right towards us. I, I, I read something the other day that they, they predict in 15 years there'll be 30,000 drones in use by, in the United States. And they by, say, of course- they're already the, local law enforcement's already obtaining them. Now, in the beginning, they say they will not be armed. <laughs> of course but not. But you know what? In international cases, in the beginning, the drones were not armed. No, they were right. just, they spied. Yeah, they yes. were spies. And now they have mini drones, like, like, like in the- Hummingbird drones. Hummingbird they're drones, they're called. okay. And those are not armed. They're just used for surveillance. They can't even tell where they are because mm -hmm. they're can, so small. Can, but eventually, can they put bullets in there and put a sniper on, you know? They have so a three-mile range of seeing, like they'll land on the top of a telephone pole or top of a tree, and they can see for three miles. Okay. So now, are we through- are we through the looking glass here? Is it all over? Is it never going to go back to where we actually have liberty and freedom again in America? Because, you know, if we're supposed to be the beacon of liberty and freedom, and we haven't been since 9-11, and it only seems to be getting worse. So uh, is it over with? Because I, I think that's the question. I think this is the right time to ask it. And I've been screaming, we're the boiling frog. The right. water is boiling. It's yeah. not a jacuzzi. Right. It's boiling. Yeah. And, and I don't know how we walk it back. I, don't, I mean, look, we used to think that the Bush administration was radical and that we can walk it back as soon as it was over, yes. right? But then Obama, who said, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you change, mm -hmm. came in and said, no, no, no. I'm actually solidifying all of it, yes. doing 90% of it and doing some of it a little more, more. right? Mm -hmm. And so now, who's gonna walk it back? Another Democrat, another Republican? I mean, there would have to be a sea change now because Obama normalized it. Yes. It's now standard operating procedure. Indefinite detentions, yes. you know, it US may take, citizens. It may, it may take then the cataclysmic event that 9-11 was to undo it. Yeah. The, the mistake, the drone strike that blows up a school, the drone strike that hits a hospital, the, the flip attempt side to is get Dorner that goes to the wrong house and kills a family of eight. You know, uh, something that sort of shakes the foundation enough that gives the maybe if you, to be incredibly cynical, and I'm not as cynical as you guys, but to, the political cover to politicians to be like, oh no, you know what? Maybe this, maybe maybe we need to go okay. back. And, no, no, and Ben, you, you're right that balances. you need a cataclysmic event for a sea change. And God, I hope it doesn't happen. I hope we can do it otherwise. Although there's very little hope of that. But look, we just had a catal cataclysmic event in Newtown uh, on guns, and we had one before that when a U.S. Congresswoman got shot in the head, and nothing. And right now, the, the assault weapons ban is it's dead on arrival. Happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. High capacity magazines is 50-50, and that I, should be I, the I, easiest I, thing I, in the world. I disagree with you. I don't think they're both not going to happen. I think it's possible they won't happen. I'm not, I don't, but the, 
part of what, what has to happen is a continued effort to fight back, I mean, and, and which is happening, but there needs to be, that talk needs not to die, and so far it, it, it hasn't died, so I'm not. Uh, but it's, you know, as far as, there is no outcry over, hey, you know, the government can go through your emails and tap you without, uh, ah, well, I'm not doing it, that, everyone has that, that attitude. So what uh, is, so. On the drone strikes, to your point, Jimmy, uh -huh. we just did it yesterday on the show, 83% of Americans say, Drone away. Okay. So what happens? And 65 percent, even even if it's a U.S. citizen, hit him with a drone strike. So what happens when other countries uh, that we're now in their country killing people that are our enemies start killing people in our country that are their enemies? What happens when drones from Pakistan and Yemen are in our country killing their enemies? Oh no, in no, no, our that's country? unacceptable. That's unacceptable. We're Americans. Yes. If anybody dared to even come close with a drone anywhere near three countries within of Alaska, yes. we would invade, full-scale invasion, right? So no, no, this is what we do to other people. Right. So, and then, gee, then, no we, and then we wonder why they hate us. No like, we can do anything we want to your country. We can bomb a, a wedding and then say, no, uh, we killed no civilians. They were all military age right. and had it coming. But if you dare even think about it for us, well, we're going to come and annihilate even more people. And then why do they hate us? I can't quite tell. Cenk, they admitted to targeting a 16-year-old American citizen. They knew he was gonna be killed, and they killed him anyway, a 16-year-old. So that's what they're admitting to. Right, now, one last thing on the Aaron Burnett uh, exchange. I wanna give Congressman Rogers some credit here, because at least for now, he was like, whoa, let's watch. Okay. No, no, I don't think so, and I don't think we'll ever get there. And I think it's very, very important to understand that the legal justification for using an airstrike against an enemy combatant, no matter what their citizenship, is long-standing in this country. And so credit to him there, but I'll tell you, it reminded me, Ben, of the Bunning uh, situation. So Senator Bunning in 2010 says, hey, you know what, uh, I think these guys on unemployment are bumps, okay, and I'd like to cut the unemployment uh, money going to them, right? Everybody flips out. They're like, what a barbarian Neanderthal. I can't believe he would say that. The Republican Party throws him under a bus. John Cornyn says, he's not one of us. That's just one rogue senator. They overwhelmingly vote against him. About a year later, it's the official Republican Party position. Yeah, the unemployment uh, people are bums. Let's cut it. And if you don't cut it, it uh, and I'm going to use it as a bargaining chip against Obama, and I'm going to get him to, uh, to cut tax on the rich in a trade on that, et cetera. So it got normalized it mm -hmm. in under a year okay it can, it can happen very quickly you yeah. talking about drone strikes will be normalized the problem with the question like that asked. rogers good on good on him for saying that yeah. it's possible that you see him a year from now on tv saying well listen these are important domestic terrorists these drug cartels are unacceptable they're crossing the border and you know we're allowed to do it on the other side of the border it's absurd not to be able to do it on he, this side on of the this border. Side.